Hi guys, Cynthia here. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Um, today I decided to film um, myself getting ready. And if you want to see how I created this look, um, just keep watching. Hey guys, thanks for coming back to my channel. This is me showing you my contour kit. And I use the light color and the Frankie Rose lid primer. And I'm just setting that with the very light color in my contour kit with my Wet n Wild fluffy brush. It's always good to add just a little base color. It'll make all of your shadows blend beautifully. And now I'm taking my Hakuhodo brush. And I am using Kiko Milano, two different shadows. The first one is, let's see, I forgot, <laughs> 213. And I'm just creating this little halo. I'm doing the outer corner and the inner corner. And this is just a little bit darker than my skin tone. And the next one is 235. And that one is just slightly darker as well. And I'm taking my fluffy brush and I'm just going to keep on blending and blending. That's key. And I'm going in with the Kiko Milano shadow in 211. This is just a little bit shimmery. And this is my Too Faced packing brush. And I'm just going to add that to the center of my lid. And I'm going in with the Kinko Milano in 283, I believe that is. And I, with my Wet n Wild packing brush, I'm also going to add that to the center of my lid. And then I'm going to blend to have a more seamless look and not so harsh. Then I'm going to go in with my NYX Cosmetics in Mermaid and that's just going to add that beautiful pop of shine. Then back to my NYX Liquid Eyeliner in Matte and I'm just going to do a small cat eye really really close to my lash line so that there's no gap when I put my false lash on. I've already applied my false lash and now I am just fixing my eyeliner. After that I am going to be cleaning up any fallout and I'm going in with my Nivea's Men After Shave Balm as a primer and then my Pore filler by NYX in my T zone because my pores are crazy, crazy big. Like you can jump into them, ridiculous. And then I'm taking my lid primer by Frankie Rose again and I'm just placing it under my eye so whenever I do my under eye shadow, it'll stay better. Um, that's my LA Girl. Um, in the red corrector and I'm putting that around my mouth because it's a little bit dark I have a hyperpigmentation and that helps neutralize the color and I'm going to then use my foundation which is by Smashbox in 4.1 it's their studio skin and I'm going to use my Tarte blending giant kabuki brush which I cannot live without it is fantastic I'm going to blend that out. Afterwards, I'm going to add more. And whenever I add more foundation, I like to use a damp blender. And that's by Real Techniques. And then I'm going to go in with the LA Girl in the color Fawn. And I just use this for brightening, really. Any place I really like to brighten. And then I'm going to go in my OCC in R4. This is actually a foundation which I really, really love to use as a contour because it blends beautifully, guys. And I never contour the very top of my forehead because my forehead's not that big. I just like bronze up there. And then, you know, you just blend it, blend it, blend it. And you keep on blending. And 
Next, I'm going in with my NYX Wonder Stick. Guys, this stick is everything. The highlight has this like shimmer in it, but it's not like a severe shimmer. I also put it under my eyes, but I cut that out because um, my video would be like a million years long. And now I am blending, blending, blending. Now I am actually baking and I decided to start using my foundation brushes because I have a lot of those and they're just like sitting there doing nothing. So I'm putting them to work instead of using triangles and buying triangles. Um, yeah, and so this works really, really well. And again, I am just going to bake and set anywhere that I've put concealer. And I'm going to go back to my Anastasia kit and I'm using this little Sephora contouring brush and I'm just going to set my contour. I'm going to do the sides of my forehead. I never again um, do the very top. I just go in there with a bronzer and that brush right there, guys, that is life. That is by Morphe, their contour set. I I made a video where I, you know, did a Morphe haul and it's fantastic, those brushes. Um, this is Flower Beauty and my Laura Mercier setting powder. And I'm just going to set my entire face and I'm also going to dust off any of my bake. And this cute little Makeup Forever brush, I am using to dust off the bake under my eyes. Because I find whenever I use a huge fluffy brush, I like mess everything up. So <laughs> I decided to invest in a tiny little brush and I love it so much. Um, this is a Sephora buffing brush and I'm using my Cover FX and N100. It's their mineral foundation. I use it as a bronzer because I love it. I love the color it gives um, and it's fantastic. Next, I'm using Becca's um, highlighter in Topaz, and that is a Real Techniques brush, which is so cute. I love that brush. And, you know, you do the high points. You do a little C around your eye. You do your Cupid bow and your nose. And I'm going in with the Laraz Laroc, I'm sorry, bronzer, and I'm putting that wherever I put my Cover FX just for more shine because, like, why not? I think after that, what do I do? Oh, I go in with Laura Geller, um, Gilded Honey, and I put on more highlighter because that's what you do. And you know what? The highlight's not really picking up on the camera, but guys, it's it was beautiful. I love, love highlighter. And again, same spots. I put the other stuff on. And I actually didn't show you guys this, but this is my Sun Power in, um, by MAC, which I really love. And this is the Lorac blush. <laughs> I can't speak. The Lorac blush that I hauled. And it's beautiful. And I just put that in the apples of my cheeks and kind of dusted it on back, which I love this blush so, so, so much. And yes, guys, I'm adding the Balm Betty Luminizer, some more highlight. And that's the Sonia Kashuk brush. Okay, so now I'm going in with my NYX Matte Finishing Spray. This stuff is wonderful and affordable. And now I'm going in with the Topaz in the inner corner for some brightening. And then under my eyes, I am just going in with that little Sephora smudging brush. And I'm doing exactly what I did on my lids. Uh, I'm just going from light to dark and then I'm adding the pop of color in the center. And with my finger, I'm just doing the Mermaid by NYX. And then I'm blending it out. And then, of course, mascara on the lower lashes and Gilded Honey in the inner corners because I'm crazy. And that is a lip liner uh, by Jordana in Coco. And I'm using some lingerie lipsticks. The first color was, uh, I believe, Beauty Mark. It's 05, and I think the second one is Exotic in 12. 
And I just added um, that more pinky color just in the center of my mouth. And I'm going to go back with the other color to just kind of blend it out. All right, guys, and that's the final look. I hope you really liked it. Please subscribe and like, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.